Like you just said, and really like we'll be saying all morning, it's going to be a hot week. And if your kid's an athlete, it's real important to make sure they're staying safe in the heat. Garrett Stringfellow explains the many dangers of heat stroke and how you and your kids can avoid them. Dr. James Frame with Sherman Medical Center says they're staying busy, especially in the past two weeks as kids go back to school and young athletes go back to practice. Most of the patients we've been seeing have been high school athletes. The football players will see sometimes one or two a day. He says even for young, healthy people, consistently pushing your body to its limit in extreme heat can be very dangerous. That heat becomes cumulative over the week where the stress on the body builds into the next day and the next day. And by the fifth day, you've got yourself a pretty sick patient. On the other hand, Dr. Frame says high risk patients like the elderly can be affected by sometimes even as little as an hour of heat exposure, especially those who take diuretics. They don't sweat as well as they did when they were younger. They're not keeping up with hydration because they're trying to keep water off of themselves so it doesn't make their high blood pressure or their heart failure worse. And no matter how old you are, you should take care of yourself now because heat illnesses can have serious long-term effects on things like your heart and kidneys. So you may not feel the effect at age 20 or 25 when you're outside doing construction. All of a sudden at age 60 or 65 become very apparent. So hydrate, take breaks, and get out of the sun when you can.